Hello and welcome. I am Cinder Shadow, and today we're going to talk about how the Batman actors and actresses talk about Final Fantasy VII. Before we get right into the story, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment at the end of this video. I'm going to give you guys a choice that you got to make a decision on. But without your support, this channel doesn't grow. There's also memberships, Patreon, and the like down below if you want to financially help the channel out or just you know what leave, leave leave a drop down below and let me know what more do you want me to do for you guys anyway on with this story out of all things this is this is kind of a unique sort of situation during an interview you have the the actress playing catwoman and the actor playing batman they're they're talking about the movie and it comes up in conversation about the experiences of Cloud falling for the two femme fatales of Final Fantasy VII, one being Aerith and the other one being Tifa. But the comments are very interesting to say the least. Robert Pattinson saying it's one of the games he grew up with and one of his favorite games and how he fell in love with both of them and really fell in love with how both, how, how men fall in love with women and Zoe Kravis relating it to a girl that can heal the planet, oh god no, and a girl in a miniskirt. Just so you know, Eris in the remake wore some pretty nice clothing ultimately down the line. But let's take a look at this clip. It's about a minute long. I'll, I'll stop and play a few times. My father was in love as well. He's in love with yeah. Eris. And Tifa. And Tifa, of course. Yeah, everybody wants that Tifa, vote. Yeah. <laughs> But it's the two sides, it's the, it's the two options of guards you can have. Okay, first off, let's, let's back that up. You can see she's fiddling with her hand. She's not even wanting to be engaged in this conversation. And Robert is having the time of his life. He's got his arms up, he's talking, he's actually enjoying being able to talk about r regular things with people about video games. That's what... Most people want to do, but you can she, see she's distant. She doesn't want to talk about this. Two options of guards you can have this. You don't you know have... Final Fantasy? No. It's the best. She it's a love triangle. Uh -huh. but... She's like, yeah, you're a nerd. You're a complete nerd. Uh, she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Aeris or Aerith, depending on what, what version of the game you have. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's sometimes mistranslated. Like, she's, like, the really kind girl who has, this, that has superpowers, like, to, like, heal everyone and, like, make the Ugh, world a better place. Poor I mean, women. We have to heal everyone. I mean, yeah. Rolls her eyes back because she doesn't want anything to do with this conversation. She's like, you can take your nerd school and your video games and take a hike. I want nothing to do with this. She's like, ah, and throws those eyes right up into her head. Meanwhile, this is an interview for promoting the movie, and this is pretty, pretty telling. Uh, the type of actress she is, she doesn't want anything to do with it, and thinks that Robert is off his rocker talking about video games. He feels exactly. like this like sexy little thing, he's like a thief and stuff, to wear the short skirt, and you're like, I can't decide. And then, and then Aeris This is crazy. And then Aeris, okay. right at her peak, gets killed. Well, this is how every guy just, like, figures out what love is. And then it never, it, that's uh, the ideal woman, I mean, and it never gets any, you never... Either the one that's going to heal everything and the one in the short skirt, these are the options? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, the, the between Aeris or Tifa, which team are you on? I personally like Tifa. I really do like Tifa. Eris is the girl that you can't get kind of in this storyline when it came to Final Fantasy. That was the whole purpose of it. It's the miss opportunities is the girl you can't get and now she's gone. Where Tifa is the girl that he went after as Cloud and they had a longer lasting relationship that... that ultimately is where cloud goes like cloud knew tifa as a a teenager as a, a not an adult and they actually had a storyline that interlinked them where when cloud meets eris it's a chance encounter and that chance encounter is sometimes where you find love and and the sense and everything that is different when it comes to men and women falling in love 
That was the whole reason why the game was so good. The undertones, the underlying message of the whole thing was don't miss out on the certain things that will be gone one day. So we need to make the most of the time we have to live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. Right? And... You know, ignorance is bliss in this one. She does; She's not engaged in the topic. Uh, she's being very ignorant towards the game and towards the storytelling of the game. But this is, uh, it's been viewed 1.9 million times. So you've got a lot of people out there that are going to talk about this. Uh, it's just, no. This is the problem with the world. <laughs> Apparently, this is the problem with the world, is either having to choose between the, the lady that can heal everyone, or the lady in the miniskirt. That, that's so, um, the, the innocence on that comment is hilarious, to the point that she's rolling her eyes in the back of her head, like, I can't believe I'm having to talk about this situation. Really, like, come on. I think Robert Pattison is doing great here, talking about this. I... For one, this is to promote the Batman movie, and now he's diving into video games, and video games are a big part of our life. Um, they're, they're doing more sales in video games than movies are ultimately, so they're up there. They're, you can't ignore what happens in a video game, especially a classic like Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is a very good classic game. Um, the remake, not so much. I thought um, it was not so much rushed. I don't think they finished it because it's supposed to be one of three parts and we're still waiting on the video game to be finished. And Personally, that, that really falls apart for wanting to, to continue to be involved in watching this, this game because we haven't heard anything from Square Enix. Square Enix, where is Final Fantasy VII? Where is it today? What are you doing to continue this storyline? It's been available on all platforms now and we don't hear anything of the new version of it. Anyway, guys, this is Proud Canadian Phoenix signing off. I hope you like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.